from? We need an intro. No, uh, like... Like, welcome to the show about anything and everything. And after Dude, that would actually kind of be kind of awesome. Like, we'd like... And here's your host, Clayton Rowan and Seth Stanley. And then we're just like... Oh, hey, welcome to the Wreck Talk. This is where we talk about the wreck and random stuff. My name is Clayton. My name is Seth. And we are your host. That's right. So what do you want to talk about today, Seth? Well, first I'm going to light this candle. Because it's fall, and I love pumpkin stuff. <sighs> so we're going to have a little pumpkin apple, apple candle going. You know what I would like? What? I would like a pumpkin pie right now. That would be good. I uh, have a pumpkin here, but it's not edible. It's metal. I wouldn't try that. So. Dude, yeah. Pumpkin flavored frozen yogurt from Pinkberry. Dude, that doesn't look like a... Give Clayton a spoon. I was about to say, yeah. Hand that here. Thank you. That's a small spoon. I want a big spoon. No, dude, because oh, it's my frozen yogurt. No, no, don't give him a big spoon. What? Yeah! Don't get on my frozen yogurt, I'm serious, dude. Don't get a big bun. Okay, that's fine. I'll share. You know, Jesus would share. It's... Oh! Pink mm. We're not sponsored in any way by Pink Bear. I just love it. Oh. That's awkward. <laughs> that is finger licking good. I know. It's delicious. But you know it comes with fall. But that's right. Football. Correct. Oh man. Hail State. Oh no, go Gators. But well, we do have our flag football, don't we? We do have flag football. We have three teams. The John Brown Hind Parts. It's Clayton's team. And then you have the Mighty Mormon Power Rangers. We told them that name wasn't appropriate, but whatever. And it's okay. The other team are the Honey Badgers, who are the defending champions. And they killed Clayton's team 42-12 the other day. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to come back even stronger. I would hope so. Can't get much weaker. Burn! I below the belt. Burn! the ground! But anyways. But then we also have a lot of activities, don't we? Yeah, we have the Amazing Race coming up in October. Ooh. Which is going to be at City Park. I don't really care about the Amazing Race. I just want beignets, which is after the I would, race. I would like some beignets, too. Yeah, at morning call, after the race, we'll have beignets. So. I, just, I went there one time, you know, and uh, they filled it with honey. A uh, beignet never, with honey. I've never gotten one of those. I, I wish, I, see, I don't know what was so special about it, but I ended up getting it. Well, it sounds delicious. Yeah, it does. Anything with hot liquid syrup. From oh. a bee and a flower is delicious. Oh my goodness. goodness. But at the Amazing Race, what we'll do is we'll have a bunch of teams and they'll go from station to station all around the park performing different challenges, which I will get to come up with and I'm going to make them fun but also difficult. Okay. And uh, they'll do the exercises and they'll go all around the park and the first person to complete all the challenges and get back to morning call wins. And that starts at 9 o'clock in the morning, right? That's right, on October the 10th. That's right, that's right. Have you ever seen The Amazing Race? Like, on the television? TV? Yeah, on the TV show. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, I always like watching, like, couples go and they fight. Oh, like, yeah, that, that, just, that just shows, you know, who's strong and who's not, you know? Well, it's usually a woman not letting the man run the household. Oh, uh, that too. That will cause problems. It's yeah. Challenge that manhood. That's right. <laughs> so anyways, Amazing Race at City Park, October the 10th. Sign up at the REC if you want to have a team. And there are four person teams. Four members. So if you have noticed and you've ever been to the REC, you'll know that this is not the REC. That's right, Seth. We are in Studio 103. That's right. Willingham Manor. Man, it's such a cozy place. I mean, you even got this candle. And yeah. No, yeah, it's, it's cozy until you go to the bathroom because the plumbing is horrible. Oh, yeah. And that's the truth. So. It just can't take it. No, nope. it's not. So that's where we're at. And the wreck 
had a lot of people there tonight playing games, playing catchphrase and different things, and so it was kind of loud to film, and so this has become the studio for our show, Rag Talk. And then we're also going to ball out tonight. Balling! Pray and play. Very little praying, lots of playing. But praying is still important. The, is that the right? right Baptist way, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that. I think praying is more important than playing, but sometimes oh, yes. you have to pray and then play and then pray again. When Clayton breaks his nose like two weeks ago. Yeah, that was that was my punishment for not praying so much, you know. Yeah, you're in charge. I mean, it's kind of your job to make you pray. And then I still don't do it, you know. They pray but, as they play. It's just. Silent. But we will. We will. We yeah. will pray. More. So come to pray and play at eight o'clock on. What days yeah. is it on? It's on Tuesdays and Thursday nights from eight to ten. There you go. Pray and play basketball. Let's get it done. Come to that. And I don't know what to say. Well, that concludes our show. You stay classy, New Orleans Baptist Theological Seminary. Stay fresh and kill everything. We'll see you next time.